It's Bourbonite. Live! A very special live, again, where we do a barrel pick. We're doing a barrel pick, folks. This time it's Woodenville. Yeah. How is everyone doing? Hopefully well. Hopefully well. And it's not just any Woodenville, though. Okay. These sure. are uh, these are barrel proof. Yeah. So, so this, this is really cool. Um, we've got a, a real good barrel picking team assembled tonight. We said, we put barrel up the... pickers, assemble! We blew say... the Kong. Kong? It's not Kong? the bat signal, it's the barrel signal. The barrel we signal. Put it up yeah. in the sky mm -hmm. and they and responded to the call. They 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 assembled. So um <laughs> That's yeah. not how it works, but don't ruin it for everyone. No. The, the mystique. They won a very special Patreon giveaway. <laughs> we have four barrels. Uh these are barrels. These are proof. bottles, Chad. Well, in my mind, they're barrels. Okay. Sarah. Uh that we're gonna be doing tonight, which is really fun. So that means we better. We better get at it. We better. Uh, we got four. We also have a little bit of information. Should we, before we bring people in, should we sort of do a little um, download on, on Woodenville or? I guess we could do one real quick. Sure. Um, they weren't able to be with us tonight, but we did get some information and we do have <clears throat> a friend who is on today yes. and who is very close. He's in the green Physically room. and I guess. Direct and mentally. And mentally. Yeah. Just always close to the Woodenville. <laughs> I'm not sure. So, um, Woodenville is from Washington. Uh, the laws did not change in Washington regarding legally distilled uh, spirits until 2008. Which blows my mind. Yeah, like, that's not that long ago. Woodenville was founded by two best friends, Brett and Orlin. Two years later in, in 20, yeah, 2010. 20, 2010. Uh, they were led by one of the best in the industry, Dave Pickerel. Yes. He consulted with them for the first year they were open. He also taught Brett and Orlin how to use all of the equipment to still and, and make make their whiskey which like honestly i don't think i knew that before or maybe i had heard it and forgot and then when i was reading this earlier i was like mm -hmm. no wonder i like it so much <laughs> so the mash bill for the bourbon that we're going to be experiencing tonight is 72 percent corn 22 percent rye and six percent malted barley i like that mash and bill. sounds good all High the rye. all the uh staple grains are grown at the omelet farm i say it's a family farm in Quincy, Washington. Mm -hmm. So just down the road, just or I'm actually not sure how far it is, but <laughs> we'll just say that. Yeah. Uh, the age of whiskey uh, for five years in one story Rick house. So if you're familiar with the four roses, um, that's what they do. Yeah. They, they do the, the one story Rick houses. And this is, I'm sure there's other places, but can't really think of any others. Uh, four roses is the only example I can think four of. Four roses and Woodenville. Um, These barrels were chosen uh, from their third Rick House, which mm -hmm. holds about 5,000 barrels. So yeah. we have four of 5,000. And <laughs> Yeah. And they uh, distill on a pot and column still uh, that uh, came over from Germany. And they distill at 140 proof. So not a Vendome. Not a Vendome. That's right. Well, Vendome is very ingrained in Kentucky. In Kentucky that's Louisville, yeah. Kentucky. That's true. You see a lot of Vendome over here in Kentucky. I guess in Washington, they're like, well, we're going to do their own thing. We're going to branch out. Um, they barrel at 110 proof where it could be 125. They pick a little lower proof. They typically bottle their things at 90 proof. Of course, we said tonight, these single barrels will be cast strength, higher, non-chill filtered. I like so, it. So there you go. And what I also found interesting is that their, their climate, um, their average temperature, which you can't really see it there. We have a little graph. Uh, it's basically <laughs> Quincy, Washington, Lexington, and Louisville. Very similar. Yeah. Very similar, which it makes sense. I mean, they say water, weather yeah. are two of the main reasons that make Kentucky bourbon so great. And this is very comparable, comparable. Mm, I'm mm. not sure. It's both. Both. Whichever yeah. one you say. Yeah. You're looking at it like a degree off on the on the high in yeah. July and 10 degrees. They're less than 10 degrees difference on the low in, in July. So I'm like, well, no wonder. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's so tasty. All right. Let's bring in that. Let's bring them in. We've made them wait team. too long. Please welcome to the stream, Scott, Hi, John, John, Joseph, and Ray. Hello. Hello. Applause, applause. There we go. Uh, how is everyone doing? Good. 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 Probably <laughs> about to be better. <laughs> yeah. I'm thirsty. Well, He's real good here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so before the stream, we labeled these A, B, C, and D, and we just went with proof. proof. So we're going to start with uh, bourbon A. Sure, we are. And let's be real, though. The proofs on these don't vary much. A is 116.9. D is 118.74. So, I mean, we're less than three proof points difference. So mm -hmm. yep. if anybody's concerned about that, let me put your mind at ease. <laughs> and we're going to keep ours, our left to right as we drink through them. Yeah. 
and we'll talk about them as we go. Yeah. So everybody, I hear you all pouring. So, so Joseph, you are our uh, resident uh, Washingtonian. That's not Washington. Sure. No. Sure. <laughs> how how many times have you been to Woodenville, and um, like what what type of tell us about your experience with Woodenville? Have you had with them? Oh, geez, the past four or five years, I've been over there six or seven times. It's a two and a half hour drive from where I am. Uh, we go right over oh. the Cascade Mountains to get to Woodenville. Um, I'm only about 25 minutes from Quincy, though. Quincy's just down the road from me. Okay. So, oh. But again, yeah. Very nice. So that weather nice. chart that you compared to Kentucky, that does not hold for Woodenville itself because Woodenville is basically in Seattle. Oh, oh. okay. All right. Gotcha. So nice. the weather doesn't change over there. It's a lot, it would be mm. a lot more like Scotland. Though. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we won't hold that against them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Woodenville itself, they just recently did an expansion. They just finished it. I think they oh, added an expansion. Two, I think they added two more pot stills and two more columns. They use the columns as their rectifiers. So it's kind of double mm. double okay. stills or whatever. And they added another two really big fermentation tanks. So very shortly they'll be tripling their output. Wow, that's nice. amazing. Yeah. Nice. I just hope that they start releasing that uh what was it, the applewood smoke or mm. the, and that distillery only yeah um, bottle. I wish that was more widely Can released. You reach a bottle uh, not that bottle, just any bottle of that? Woodenville. No, just the regular, yeah. Just in case people aren't familiar, you know, this is the regular old 90 proof. Hold on. Oh, we will get us uh, a little bigger. Yeah. The regular 90 proof here. Mm. Of course, it wants to focus on our beautiful faces. Sorry about that. That's no, all right. <laughs> As would I. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put it here. So I just went ahead and jumped right in because when there's a glass in my hand and it's full of whiskey, I'm going to take a sip. Yeah. Um, I get like, I taste like a good amount of tobacco on this one. I haven't gotten that far yet. And it's... um. I'm getting baked yeah. goods like a coffee cake on the nose. Hmm. Yeah, I got a glazed donut on the nose. Ooh. I was sort of getting cherry, but maybe it's it's sort of like a cherry filled donut, maybe. I like this baked goods avenue. It's it's woodsy, I feel like. Woodsy. Kind of dusty. Outdoorsy baked goods. Outdoorsy. It's a it's a pie sitting on a window sill. He loves to paint a picture, you guys. <laughs> picture this. Uh, cooling on a window sill. Bluebirds are flitting about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little I... smell on it too. You know that the smell of the rickhouse. I'm getting a little of that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Hmm. It's got some spice. For sure. Well, it is a twenty-two. 20% rye here in the mash bill. Um, yeah, there's a there's a, a little bit of a syrup syrup ness to this. Going down pretty easy. Now, I found I found most of the yeah. Woodenville uh, the the cast strengths they start off a little hot. They drink yeah. hotter than their proof. It is a little I hot. Just, I can see that. It's spicy. I I still I feel like this. The taste of this kind of reminds me of a cigar a little bit, which is, I guess, strange. I don't know. Does anyone? Am I the only one? Anyone else feel that? And don't agree with me just to agree with me. A cigar? I mean, there is definitely the barrel there. Maybe, it is very char. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe it's yeah. the char. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And well, maybe uh, yeah, it's, I a, think it's char as opposed to smoke. Okay. But. Also, now that you mention it, a little maybe like a tobacco leaf, you know, not really like a cigar, but a tobacco leaf type of because it has that. Again, that uh, uh, I'm just sort of getting out outdoorsy. It just feels like hmm. a dry tobacco leaf, sort of. Okay. Not that I chew on those very often. I was going to ask you, when was the last time? Because I never seen it. <laughs> Anyone else have any thoughts to share on this on this one on a? It's very dry mouthfeel. It is a little dry. I think the mouthfeel at front up front is is pretty nice um, mm -hmm. and oily, but then yeah. it does kind of taper off into a dryness. Okay. Don't talk really with getting... your mouth full. 
I'm not really getting much in the way of fruit. It's not a particularly sweet bourbon. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, to me. I agree. No. Well, let's not spend... Yeah, it's definitely giving me more earthy vibes, but yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Let's too, move on to B. Too much time on, on A. Because we will come back after we've tasted them all once. We will come back especially to A. Because yeah. it so often doesn't get a fair shake. Yeah. Um, and then I would like, at after that point, to, to kick one off the island. I didn't like that part. I have to go through all four, yeah. Yeah. I should just go ahead and give myself more of bourbon A. Because we both know you're going to need it. Yeah. That way it'll be opening up in the glass. And you know, that's always good. Wonderful. So I wouldn't feel this past weekend, they just... It's got a distillery only release. It's, um, it's a hundred proof rye finished with the apple stick babes. And did, did you get it for us? Uh, Chad. <laughs> well, so that was, rude. That was my that was my next question. I, <laughs> I, did, I did score a couple bottles if you were interested. Ooh. Ah, either okay, either in that one or the or the spring release, which is the PX here we finished. Oh. Okay. So, okay. What was this release? It was a hundred proof rye in um with the toasted. I feel apple like stuff. that's probably with our palate, it's probably a safer bet than the sherry. But you never know. Yeah. Oh, we did have that. We were at a uh, event last fall and Ariel brought some the Arbeck experimental finish? wooden bill, I would say. And I think it was the that, that. or a version of that. Mm. Yeah, like that that, was, that hadn't been cut down that, or they'd extra aged it. They have a peated. That was that was the part of their 10 year anniversary. Oh, okay. it must have been they that. Took, yeah, they took their double barrel, which is basically like the 1910 mm -hmm. or a, or an old forester. I'm sorry, uh, uh, a Woodford Reserve double oak. It's basically their version, and then they then they aged it for like two months in old hard bank casks. Mm. We got uh, Jason from the Mash and Drum Jason. in here. He says, "Hey guys, Woodenville's Woodenville's are so good. Looking forward to your picks." Did you just sass him? What? No, I have. I <laughs> I mean, maybe unintentionally. Don't you sass Jason? <laughs> Woodenville's. I had. I had. I had Hi, Jason. Jason. I had to think about that one. Ooh, I like the nose on B. Yeah. yeah that's a lot sweeter, more caramel, yeah. and brown sugar. Yeah. And Definitely. The earthiness is way toned down. Sweetness is dialed up a bit. More cherry, kind of. A, I get an amaretto. Mm, oh, yes. good call. I love yeah. that. I love that description. It's like a fruit cocktail. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Maybe a little bit of like black tea. Mm hmm. Ooh, I like this. I, is anyone taking notes? No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> on you guys, but I can obviously I can replay it and get the same thing. So, well, I'm, oh, I'm look at John to... taking his notes. <laughs> I'm one of those, the power of suggestion compels me. So, if you say it, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, I know we already talked about, um, cherry and and donut on the last one but this one i'm sort of getting like a a, a, a turnover you just Ooh. read my mind i was a literally thinking turnover. like the crispy because yeah. it's not yeah. super sweet on the outside it's just like a flaky almost croissant like but then it's got yeah i i feel that we have our first super chat of the evening Woo. this one is man it gets really small Boo ryan yeah, says Boo ryan drinking woodenville wait drinking woody woodyville woodyville a woodenville pick from Ken's Kegs in Lincoln, Nebraska. Represent. Oh, okay. Woodyville. Nice. That's, that's cool. I like that. Woodyville, name. Woodenville. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Thank you, Burai. Burai guy. So, so it, it, ever since Ray said black tea, I, I'm definitely getting a black tea. Oh, I got that. But then there's a little bit of kind of chocolate behind it. Mm, yeah. Ooh, black gold. It kind of gives Texas me tea. like a flavored tea type of a thing. So this is kind of bear claw. Like, so I, to me. my so old-fashioned bear claw filling, it's kind of brown sugar. Oh yeah, yeah. bear claw. Kind wow, we stuff. are really on the pastries yeah. today. <laughs> the icing on top, do you get a little bit of like that white sugar sweetness kind of? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a the old-fashioned recipe that I do. I use like a tea to infuse a simple syrup, and it's orange spice black tea. And now yeah. that you've said that, I'm like, this actually reminds me of the way that tea smells. 
Is anyone else getting more mint on this one? Mm, I haven't tasted it. I haven't Almost tasted getting that. more. Jane, uh, Coke. More, more winter mint, sort of. It's a little different type of rice pop in this one than like a. Yeah, kind of on the back palate a little bit. It's mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is spicier than the first. I know. I feel like the nose didn't match the palate as much as far as like right. all the sweetness I was getting on the nose. Where was that? It's pretty dark cherry, yeah. and um, wood forward, I think. Yeah, cherry wood. Okay. I get the sweetness mid palate and then the, the oak in the finish. Mm hmm. I think I might have liked mm. the mouthfeel on A better, but it, meh, it's too early for all that. Yeah, it's too. It's, it's I know, too Chad. I already all know. All JG's yeah, this, all about that southern old fashioned. He knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This really kind of it's almost effervescent. Kind of tangles the palate. Gets it doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I am actually getting a little bit of nuttiness on that last sip. Interesting. Nutty. But not peanut, like not peanut, um, like pecan or walnut. You know, it has a, a little bit of a cashew like, quality. Yeah, kind of maybe more of a walnut. So there's a little bit walnut. of bitterness too mm -hmm. from the yes. char. I mean, it's a it's a it's a dry type of type of nut. Yeah, as opposed to those. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence, but because I'm probably gonna get flagged for something. Not, like, not like not like D's. Right, right. Okay. It's drier. Cheese. Well, long as they're 18. I've already assumed that D is going to be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you saying? Again, to... again, not a lot of fruit on this. No, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, I felt like I was. We were going to get more based on the nose. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. We'll come back. I'm ready. I think I'm ready to move on to C. Yeah, let's move on to C. Uh, we haven't been saying the proofs of these except in the very beginning, but this this one C is 118.04 proof. And B was 117.84. So again, very small differences between yeah. the two, but there hey, are well, differences. Going back to A, I'm getting what I'm getting like apple, apple on the nose now. Apple. As, as a hot Joseph pack. has gone rogue and he's going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their process. Big Vic. Well, Big I Vic. A B test as I go. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Big Vic saying sipping on uh on the Maverick pick from the Mash and Drum. Can't wait for this pick to come out. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's awesome. That's uh Jason. Jason's Jason's Woodenville pick, I imagine. Very cool. It is. We'd like to, I we'd did like to try that. Ooh. Yeah, you did? I got, I got a Maverick and an Iceman. So. Nice. Oh, I've seen those. Yeah, Maverick and Iceman. Sure. Ooh. Top gun. I don't know. What's, mm, there's some things going on here. Let's see. Like a spiced chocolate. Oh, and... chocolate, definitely. Throw a cordial. Because still, again, I'm getting cherry. Agreed. Cherry cordial. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm really. Yeah. There's a syrup. There's like a maple in there too. Sort of. Doesn't seem as woody on the nose. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't get quite as much fruit on this one either, but we'll see. We'll see. It is C. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you did there, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is different. Mm -hmm. Woo! Perfumey? Yeah, this one has some floral to it. Yeah. A little Man, bit. Man, these are freaking oh. hot. Also, I'm like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> what day is it? It's still only Tuesday? <laughs> I'm it getting a like, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, it seems naughty to be drinking this many high-proof things on a Tuesday. This one this has a real old. dessert finish. Mm -hmm. You let it settle in. I don't. I can't drill down onto what type of dessert. Maybe like a creme brulee, something real creamy. You're so desserty oh. today. I'm getting yeah. kind of a, like a molasses, cough syrup kind of vibe from it. Molasses, yeah, or sorghum. Coffee, maybe? 
Maybe mm, coffee. A little coffee bean. I mm. get that. Mm. Yeah. Almost like gingerbread. Mm. Or one of those cheap oh. type. Little yeah. graham cracker. Yeah. yeah. Graham cracker. I'm having a little trouble. I feel like I'm tasting similar notes in each one, and I'm just kind of fixated on that at this point. But they're all but coming at things in a different way, in a different direction. Sure. I think for me, I'm not going to know anything until I do the A-B testing. Sure. Um, so maybe I'll sit That's quietly <laughs> until the end. I don't know. Well, these are not buffalo traits, man. They're not like fruit bombs. They're not, you know. Yeah. Cherry. No, it's... it's uh, right. Yeah, it's definitely unique. I like. I'm just having trouble discerning what I like better. Hey, Brett, go ahead and, and crack open those mash and journey picks and drink along with us. Yeah, How Brett, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more one more sip of bourbon C. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour bourbon D. Going back to bourbon B, the nose disappeared. <laughs> He's gone rogue. He's a maverick. Hmm. hmm. You know, C almost has like a rum type of feel. Not a real dark rum. That's what that is. A, a real, like a spiced rum. Joseph likes that. Good call. No, it's it's definitely rummy. Yeah. That's where that, I think that's where the molasses C kind of kick came in. Yeah. Like a black strap rum. Ray, what were you saying? No, I was saying I agree with that. Um, oh, okay. Anyone else? Any other notes on C? I feel like the teacher. Anyone else? Any other answers? Any other guesses? Anyone? Bueller. Anyone? Fry. Uh, I did. I mean, I do get a little bit of the. I think the cherry cordial kind of carries over a little bit to the palate. I mean, it's back there. You have to dig for it a bit. Hmm. Yeah. C is more medicinal cherry. See, I think I'm feeling that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's yeah. maybe why I'm seeing her scratching my head of like, I don't Something know. a little tart or a little astringent in the finish. Mm -hmm. a little, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I would agree with you. A kind of quality. Mm. Sure. Yeah, I think that like cherry cordial chocolatey thing is also with the earthy notes maybe going a little bit that direction. Mm hmm um, which is probably what's throwing me for a loop, if I had to guess. If you ever had to guess. If I had to venture to guess, it would be um, that. You guys notice I am back to wearing the Woodenville hat. He switched it up on you. I, I've I had like two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, two episodes of wearing the uh, it's Bourbonite cap, which will be should be in stock um, Friday. Fri we'll say Friday. We'll say. But mm -hmm. since we're doing Woodenville, had to go back to the Woodenville cap. Okay, bourbon D. Ooh, I don't know. This D. might be my favorite nose. It's very different. Very balanced, I'll say. There's nothing yeah. like really yeah. sticking out. Nice yeah. honey. I don't know. Yeah, I'm oh, getting honey. like honey, honey caramely, cinnamon. A little, a little melon, maybe. It's the sweetest nose for sure. That's yeah. Yeah. That's why we get along. Because well. <laughs> opposites attract. <laughs> well, Sweet. Also Bitter. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Sweet, salty, salty, yeah. nutty. No, I like it. It's Great also, nose. I think I'm getting like a little bit of like a graham cracker, cinnamon graham cracker. Honey, uh, honey grams, honey grams. That's not a thing. Teddy grams. Teddy grams. They're honey, right? Yes. Okay. Teddy grams. Teddy Ruxpin. Okay, just keep saying things. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Kennedy. Ted Kennedy. Woo. Okay. Why is this drinking similar to Bourbon C? I really I'm confused. Mm. So well, it's got the best okay. nose. Then it went away. But I don't drink the nose. I don't drink the nose. <laughs> I don't drink the nose. Ooh, I don't know. I liked that. Mm. Yeah, I like where it went. In the Me very too. beginning, I, I, maybe it's just because we were coming off of bourbon sea. But second sip reveals all, right? Oh, I got to read this. No, 
don't do. So, sorry, Jason. If you're that's rude. It's not a love. No, I'm no, no, uh, not the comments rude. The fact that Chad wants to read it and rub it in Jason's did, face is no, all I meant. No, no, maybe just a little. Did the four gate pick side by side with Mash and Journey's pick, and your pick came out on top. Both were delicious, though. Yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta try. We gotta try. Chad's gonna frame pick. that and put it next to the four gate model. No, we gotta try. <laughs> Uh, Jason we need to Scott's, try theirs, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's trade. Let's trade, Jason. Ooh, okay. I like that. <clears throat> hmm. I do like this. This has a... Oh, I mean, it's a little dry in the finish. Maybe that's just because we've gone through four barrel-proof whiskeys, but it sort of has a toasted kind of mm -hmm. finish, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I like that. The finish is pretty long on this. Yeah. I get more of a hug on this one and the finish is longer. It How seems, can you tell? <laughs> it, seems, it seems the best balanced and the most well-rounded, mm -hmm. but it also seems a little flat. Mm. There's hmm. nothing, nothing jumps out. Anybody else want to weigh in? Gets, it goes darker on the end. Like yeah. It starts out really sweet. And then it gets darker as it finishes. And I kind of like yeah. that. Yeah, I Me like too. that too. Me too. It's sort of dark and mysterious. And um, what Chad wants to be. Well, I can't <laughs> be on. tall, dark, and uh, I can be handsome. You're taller than me. That's all that matters. It's true. It's true. Going back to the nose on this, serious black tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, I know we're not out. supposed to make predictions <laughs> at this point, but I feel like. If I was gonna make one, well, without A/B testing, and I'm not gonna say it, but without A/B testing, I feel like I know which one I would kick out of bed, and I feel like I know which one I would raise up. Yeah, I agree. But it's too early for all that. But that's so. why we go through another round. That's right. Not to be confused with the paper with Chad and Sarah after the show. <laughs> yeah, that's another round, live edition. Live. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it. Um, drink them if you got them. Water that is. Uh, if anyone needs cracker time or anything like that. We should have brought some of that. I might take a little. When we ever learn. I think I need tea. coffee cake and bear claws and donuts. Yeah. And some donuts, mm -hmm. yeah. And some croissants and turnovers. Tall, dark, and nutty licious. <laughs> so, are we doing a guided A through D again? Just going through quickly, or what do you yeah, say? Yeah, let's, let's, let's quickly go A through D and. Then we'll do some A, D, A, C, D, C in there. Cool. Yeah. For those about to rock, we salute you. Wow, the glazed donut on A now. Yeah, oh, that, my that gosh. Was, that's that was, crazy. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that, was, yeah, that was you, Scott, right? Yeah. Total so glazed there. donut. It's right there. It smells like being in a donut shop, in my opinion. All right. Picks over. It's this one on the nose. Just because Chad wants to call it the donut it's shop because I love or whatever. Donuts. He loves donuts. It's my kryptonite. Just put that Simpsons donut on there. They're just oh. iconic. But not you don't even have to do that. Just the iconic. Sprinkles. Pink sprinkled donut. I'm like, yeah. I've never seen a donut that looks like that. Actually, we did in Austin. Remember? We oh, went to yeah. Voodoo Donuts. Voodoo. And we got the, Simpsons, the Homer Simpson donut. The Homer Simpson donut. Yeah. Mm. A is pretty good. Everybody, I do like the mouthfeel on A. I don't feel like A is as long as bourbon D. Haha, <laughs> see, I didn't fall into that trap. Um, you gotta watch out for those, but it's it's real respectable. Anybody coming yeah, back to A? Back to now, I'm thinking I like it better than the first time around. I agree. This is why A always gets the first revisit. A gets the short end of the it stick. It does get at the short end of the stick the yeah. first time around. It's not fair. I don't get I don't get that bookshelfy kind of dustiness anymore. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I think we just weren't in the Woodenville. I wasn't in that mindset yet. Yeah. Mm hmm I like A. A is good. I also am warming up to A. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It would not be my first boat off the island. Well, and if you haven't already noticed, Woodenville does have kind of its own flavor profile. It does. Yeah. You know, like, you know, the bean products are kind of nutty, and the mm -hmm. the four roses are kind of fruity and spicy. Kind of fruity floral. And, you know, yeah. they, have, 
they have their kind of profiles. You can use a lot of times pick out. What the bills same way they've got a profile you can pick out. I think it's what they do I've with never, their barrels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never done this many wooden bills in a row before. Where was it tasting and not like at a dinner or something? Right, right. And so I've never noticed that before now. No, they definitely have a... It definitely has its own signature. Wooden bill profile. Which I feel like is setting me up great. A great piece of training for the world's top whiskey taster. <laughs> now hopefully I can spot a wooden bill. Suck it, Matt Porter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't talk to the world's top what? whiskey taster that way. You can't talk to the, the first wild turkey, ever. wild turkey that way. Can't I'm do that. I'm kidding, Matt. You know I love you. We hope to have him as a guest soon. I want to give you a big, big, big bear hug. I'll stay out of that. <laughs> well, like that. Make you know, that Woodenville does a lot of finishes, too. You know, mm -hmm. Finish things, they do the apple staves. I think there's something about this profile that lends itself to that. Mm. I get a... You know, you, you know how you, you can do different, different ways that you knows a bourbon and like you, you you rest the top of the glass on the bridge of your nose type of nose i get maple syrup oh on bourbon b on b i don't but only doing it that way hmm interesting uh oh, but, Jonathan it's a little, Peterson. but it's a little burnt mm, yeah i get more of the burnt where's john uh at the bottom jonathan peterson said i missed it are these going to be barrel proof or proof down my understanding barrel is proof. they will be at the proof that we are tasting them now which I love. Well, they only um, go in the barrels at one ten, so right, right, yeah. And after, mm -hmm. but I, I just five like plus years, you get to this. I, yeah, yeah. Cast strength and non-chill filtered, so all those fatty acids. What we taste is what um, we get. Yeah, we'll, I like that. Will remain in there, so that's that's awesome. Bourbon B was more caramel on the nose going back to it mm. than I remember, like burnt caramel. B is, is nothing to nothing to scoff at. It does seem a little drier, mm -hmm. a little darker, a little more. Uh, I'll say burnt, but not burnt in a bad way. But mm. you know, a little a little more charred. Um, yeah. Thanks, Mike Meyer. I, I appreciate your empathy. That I had a tough Matt Madness. Uh, <laughs> flight to figure out what the old foresters it was like if you could figure it out then you probably like well that's what happened i'm not going to talk about it <laughs> because if i say that i feel like it's discounting perry's win and he definitely earned it so sure, sure. um hmm. Hmm. i would like to do that again though yeah absolutely i don't know if, if matt can be talking no, 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 no 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 i don't think so he can be talked into it again very tough very tough competition yeah um yeah be B is good, but it's definitely more roasted or toasted, toasted. or a little, little darker on its notes, which I don't I don't mind one bit. But let's go ahead and move to C. Bourbon B has some grill marks. Grill marks. There you go. I like it. Tastes like steak. Tastes like steak. <laughs> there should be a ticker for however many times Chad compares a bourbon to a piece of meat. <laughs> I like it. And then, like, what how you have to drink a certain different number of times. If it's steak, it's just one drink. If it's like bacon, barbecue, whatever. Ham. Ham. You get yeah. Ham. He always has a, a um, meat in mind. C is so is is the outlier of of these four. I feel like it's the least like its brethren. It's very perfume. Uh, not really floral. It's really perfume. perfume. It's that mm -hmm. um, dry, a little dry, a little like it's it's citrus notes are a, a, a tiny bit like artificial ish, you know. Hmm. And there's a yeah. little there's a little pinkiness on the palate. Yeah, a little I agree. Pump. Yeah, yeah, it's a little funky. It's definitely the outlier in that way, like mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. This okay. would be a hot drinker's bourbon. Okay. I feel that statement. Sure. Bourbon D, second time. Are we rushing you guys? Are we going too fast? I feel like we're going pretty fast. We're already at an hour. No, we're not. No, we're not. We started at 30. I'm so used to starting at 8. Like, quit rushing them. <laughs> well, we're professionals. Yeah. Bourbon D, bourbon D. It's like the speed dating of whiskey tasting. It really is. We'll just wait for the speed round. Ooh, I like that idea. <laughs> What speed round or or whiskey speed dating? But what if it's whiskey speed blind dating? Didn't they do that in New Orleans? No, they did a blind date. 
but not speed dating. Oh, where you only get a dating? certain amount of time. Oh. I'm thinking about an episode. I'm thinking about a way we could set it up. I'm just going to write this down. Copyrights, Bourbon Night 2021, all rights reserved, and tax on license. <laughs> You should just have really tiny disclaimer text that you can put up on these that no one can read. It's too small. Font. Someone type me some disclaimer text and I'll put it up on screen here. Uh, um, you know, there's a rule really though. Really what? You have to read it. What do you guys think about Bourbon D? Still has the best news. I agree. Yeah. I'm just making a note on this. Here, a lot of sniffing. Is, is it just me or do you actually, I get a lot of similarities in the nose between A and D. I agree. On the second time around, after I we went through the first time and I went back to A, I was like, actually, this one and D are more like lining up. Yeah. Than maybe I a bit more, thought. maybe a bit more honey on D. Mm-hmm. No beast. I'll be so the judge of it. All right. We've been through twice now. We have. I think we need to at least boot one. Yes. At least one, and then maybe we vote. Or maybe we talk a little bit more and we can get it down to two. But I think that at this point, everyone should be able to boot at least one. I know what I would do. I know what I would do. So how do you want to do this? Do we want to just, just go around? Let's just go around the horn. Okay. Um, so you all get prepared. to. Is anyone not prepared to vote? Because we can wait and come to you last. One Scott second. says, "Give him a minute." Or okay. I can tell if that was a that was a wait. that was a one second. Or, okay. One second. So we'll start with John. Okay, we're gonna start with John. John, what you want to boot? Who are you kicking off the island? I boot D. You'd boot D. Well, John's out of the chat. Sorry, yeah. John. Bye. See you, John. You, <laughs> you said wrong. Well, we can't. All no. Vote. Okay, one vote for D. One Fair enough. D. Fair enough. Uh. Joseph, are Joseph, you ready? Are to you vote? ready? Or we can come back to you. Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready. Scott. I would say C. C. Scott. Okay. So one vote for D, one vote for C. Okay. Ray. Ray are you ready? Uh, I'm voting B. B. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> one vote for B. All right. Joseph Brazo, please give us. Don't say A. This There's is very a. hard. You can say A. There was, there was a little part of me going A, but <laughs> you can say A. It, it would be un unprecedented. We'd have to be the decision makers. That, I, I mean, we can do that. <laughs> I think that's kind of what we're here to do. It's our show. <laughs> and here's just a static shot of Joseph Brazo. Just... <laughs> Alone. You're the one who switched to him. Hey, look at that. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> you Man. are gonna hate me. <laughs> is it A? It's A. A is okay. A one note. It's A okay, so we have note. A, B, C, and D. From the peanut gallery. From the <laughs> from the all over the place gallery. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, so my no. vote would be for C. My vote would be for C as well. Okay. So that's correct. And it's three correct. votes for C. And we C. do have a quorum. So, it's and, and we have, yeah, we have a one vote for A, one vote for B, <coughs> three for C, and one for D. Wow, I was not expecting. I was this. not expecting this either. I was like, in my mind, I'm sipping through them. I'm like, we're all on the same page. Yeah, we totally are. I know it's going to be. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. we're all ready to boot this one off, <laughs> and it wasn't not the same one. Um, well, I mean, I guess this was interesting. We have. I think to that's how close they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. They are definitely you know, close. It, 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 Go ahead. It's a testament to how good and how close they all are. That's true. Yeah, yeah. because I, there's no clear I can, loser. I can see what people would like and see, but it's not for us. It, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't feel. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's not something you, we would pick. You, me, or Scott. Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, that little, that little bit of funk, the barrel funk, appealed to me. That's why I mm. ultimately went with A. Interesting. Because even though it was funky, it was a funky that I liked. It was a little funky for me. Yeah. I mean, you you know their profile maybe better than anyone. Joseph, being a being a big fan of theirs, is uh, would you say C is closer to their barrel proof profile or? 
like a pick no. a pick that someone would want because it is so left field. It would it would be more of a left field pick from somebody. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, Woodville is traditionally it's a lot of uh, it's vanilla and it's honey and a little sassafrasy maybe sassafras. Mm. Um, okay. Touch of cherry. You know, it's it's one of those. It's a really I mean, their traditional profile is very well balanced. Yeah. You know, you know, nothing really jumps out. Yeah. You know, which and I think what we're what we're looking to to pick tonight is not the most left field, but also not the most. This is what would normally be on the shelf in a cast strength offering. Um, we want it to be reminiscent of the profile, but not be crazy out there for crazy out there sakes. Not saying that C was at all. Hmm. I'm just commenting in generalities here. Well, the me of we <laughs> wants to pick my favorite, whether yeah, it's close right. or far or whatever. So, well, in I my mean, opinion, majority okay. roles of C has been removed. I'm sorry, C yeah. fans. No. But, um, so I will out. tell you amongst these four, the most, to me anyway, drink a lot of wooden bill, the most straight down the middle wooden bill profile is B. B, okay. B is so that is about as on profile as it gets. Okay. At this point in time, without going through and tasting them again side by side, A and D are my favorites. Um I also <laughs> I also agree with you, Sarah. Wow, this is rare. Yeah. I mean, I do like B a lot, and I think you know that would stand to reason because Joseph's saying this is the most down, you know, down the the Woodenville profile. Yeah, I do like B, mm -hmm. B, but A and D feel like a Woodenville that's more in line with what we would pick. Agreed. Uh, of, of you guys, would you? Do you have like what your first and second, and they don't have to be in order, but what two you're kind of leaning towards? And would you be comfortable sharing with the glass? And you can pass if you want. Sharing with the glass, I said. Yeah, I'm with you guys on A and D. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're feeling A and D. A and D. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyone else want to share? Um, I agree. I was, I was between A and B, and the similarities between A and D are really why I was going to drop D. Okay. Um, oh, okay. A and B are different from one another, but mm -hmm. I felt like. I already feel like A is a little better version of D. Gotcha. Scott? A and D for me. A and D. Okay. And Joseph, just D. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's something to be said for A, uh, for going not super on profile. Uh, it's brighter than D, um, if that makes sense. You know, it lights up yep. the palette yeah. a little bit more. But D seems like darker, richer, more mouth coating. Yeah. I I don't I now I gotta try them back to back. Cause at first I was feeling like I like the mouthfeel, especially the front of it mm. on A. Um but I think I'm really between those two. I'm I'm between A and D, I feel like. I, um I think we can safely call it that's what we're where that's where we're at. So if you guys want to kind of A B test between A and D. A D test. Um, we'll try to we'll try to come to to a conclusion here. And if, if anything, you know, if if uh, a thought hits your mind, just go ahead and shout it out. <laughs> Don't think too hard, Joe. <laughs> Don't want to blow an O ring. Hey, I give a couple shout outs. Sure. <laughs> sure. These are Woodenville shout outs. Uh, one shout go out goes it. to Cat. The other one goes to Caitlin. They're both rock stars, and they should get raises. For all you Woodenville reps watching, and whoever makes the decisions, Cat and Caitlin, let it be noted. They're getting raises in the records. Also, Ariel, she's our local rep. She's in Louisville. Love her. Mm, yeah. She's she's great. Hey, so she I have an idea. Okay. Let's pretend it's TRL. Do you guys watch TRL on MTV? It's been a long time. Uh, your favorite music video is just playing, and then it cuts in, and you have to give a shout out. Go, Scott. I think my no. mom's watching, so I'm on. There you oh, go. I love it. John, who's shouting out? You got an easy one, John. 
Uncle David and Bourbon Booster Melissa. That's what I was going to say. You've got to go, Melissa. Nice. Ray, King of the North. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Put him right on the spot. Joseph, you already did yours. Okay. Chad. Oh, I, I just want to say, hey, what up, uh, Bootsy? Hey, Bootsy, uh, you my boy? Uh, no, I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> I also am like, what are you talking about? I, I voted for Backstreet Boys because I, I think the videos were great, and I don't know do And then they just go, <laughs> that's how it was on TRL. You guys remember. All right. Is there any caffeine pills in yours, or what's going on? Yeah, I may have, I may have had a lot of caffeine before this. I'm not on the same level as you <laughs> at all. <laughs> Hmm. So back and forth on the nose. I like the nose on A better. You get you get Scott's glazed donut more. Yeah. I do like the glazed donut. Do you donut. like the glazed donut? That is. Don't let that, don't let that uh, mm. convince you. I think I'm going to Krispy Kreme after <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is hard. I thought after round one, when we just I... hit each one one time, I thought this was going to be easy. I agree. I also thought it was going to be easy. Stupid us. When will we learn? It's never easy. <laughs> it's never easy. I should have brought water refills down here if we should have done. Yeah. I don't know why Pearl Jam Jeremy is a comment. <laughs> Maybe because his name. Oh, wait, Jeremiah. Never mind. Um, I mean, it's a good song. Oh, Mike Myers, Bootsy. Well, I was shouting you out, Mike. Hmm. This is tough, and you know it's tough when we're just kind of like quietly quiet, and it becomes bad TV because we're just right because we're just thinking. Joey Tony Bag of Donuts, thank you for saving us with the super chat. He's saying shout out to Cork Pop and, and Princess. Princess. Ah, he knows. <laughs> he knows what's up. That's some inside baseball right there. Uh, that is some inside baseball. That's some that's some Patreon talk right there. I don't know, man. Uh, on the news, I can't pick one. Yeah. No, nose wise, I, I can't. We're now going back to D and Mike. Okay. It's got some yeah, I know. Out. Every time I think I know. Else. I think there's a little right. more going on with the nose. Scott, do, or sorry, John, do you still feel like between A and D, A is the better version of D? Or as you've been A-B testing them, have has that changed? I, I mean, it, it seems like every time I A-B, it gets closer, but I'm I'm still leaning A. I think D has a little better uh, mouthfeel, but A just kind of has uh, more on the nose, uh, it sticks out a little more on the palate. Um, I'm I'm really enjoying A. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Anyone else who's who's been b between these two that's leaning a direction? <clears throat> Me. <laughs> I'm leaning. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm leaning? not leaning the same way as everyone else. Mm. Which I'm not really sure what's the See, I've, protocol for that. I've been that. trying to suppress that urge. I feel like I'm also probably leaning the same way that you're leaning, Sarah. But I've been trying to suppress it for the greater good. But. Oh, me too. I've been literally, well, I had my first instinct on the first pass, and then it became very close, but I, I think I have an answer now for myself. I, honestly, do, so close that I would be. Can you guys get two barrels? <laughs> uh, we did that last time. We a... we've already called an audible on getting two barrels of another pick, and I don't think that uh, that that should happen. Yeah, we don't want to become known as a channel that can't decide. They can't choose. And, and then yeah. just gets two barrels <laughs> every time. Yeah, we kind of uh, used that card already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like the nose on A, but I think D has more going on for it. It's just more complexity. And As Joseph mouthy. said, you can't drink the nose. I kind of, I kind of feel you there, Scott. I kind of well, feel like I don't drink the nose. <laughs> there's I, don't I can't. I don't. There's yeah. something in Bourbon D that is just a little bit elevated, a little bit over A. I'm leaning D, 
I am as well. You're leaning. And that it. was also my first instinct. So Same here. I feel pretty good about that too. But, <sighs> but I would love to hear from you guys absolutely. because this is a team effort. So we got we got John leaning. But we also agree, so screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we can kick you all out right now and say, oops, we lost them. You better agree with us. No, so I'm just we, got, we, got John going on the <laughs> we got John leaning A. I think Scott, you were leaning D. 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 Joseph, I, I honestly stopped listening. What did he say? Don't be rude. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I think he was back and forth. Which way are you leaning, Joseph? I, I, I like D. Okay. Yeah, I'm leaning D. D. There's and no, then, there's no then wrong then answer. Ray mm -hmm. couldn't think of a shout out. So <laughs> how are you supposed to pick a whiskey? <laughs> no, what, what of it, Ray? What's that? I'm leaning. I'm leaning D. Okay. So we're. Uh, didn't this happen last time, John? <laughs> no, we were unanimous last time. Okay, no. that's right. Yeah. Well, that's right. that makes me feel better about disregarding your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I know my role. I, I'm I'm okay with it from the beginning. Um, oh, John. I think then. I still want the hundred thousand dollar pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. By the powers that be, I think we're D. Yes, I agree. Bourbon D. Bourbon D for the win. Oh, shocker! Is anyone shocked? Is anyone shocked? It's the highest proof. I didn't think about that until just now. <laughs> proof hounds. Honestly, though, they're within three proof points Can of each other. Thing? Can we make another proof, thing? Proof hounds. Oh, oh. Proof hounds. Oh, oh. Well, that's what we used to do in my high school. Where you were the proof hounds? Creek you were dogs. Proof hounds? Creek wow, dogs. Wow, that's an awesome high school. So when you see another creek dog hounds. out, you go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, my. Uh, uh, school was also a dog. Technically, we were the Commodores, but it wasn't cool enough. So, Creek, uh -oh. Creek Dogs. Creek is, Dogs is what uh, we both had dogs for our. Oh, cool, kind of. Yeah, mine was made up, but sure. Well, sure. Um, so yeah, proof ounce. Woof, woof. I, I feel like it's. I feel like it's D. This is for the for the record. This is barrel fifty six eighty four. It is fifty nine point three seven percent ABV. If you're a Scotch fan. Uh, for all of us over here in America who drink bourbon, it is 118.74 proof. I'm sorry, I've gotten sassy. I know. I've, I've, I've done and got sassy. 118.74 proof, Woodenville single barrel straight bourbon whiskey, Boom City. Delicious. Delicious. Well, don't forget to point out that uh, this is not for resale. This is not <laughs> for resale. No, they will be not in bottles only. this size. Yeah. For tasting purposes only. I feel like that's what we use them for. Yes, we did. I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy Not with how this turned out. Coincidentally, D was in my wooden mill glass. Oh. oh. We should have known from the start. We should have known just from that. It was in my It's Bourbonite new logo, Glenn Karen, available at whiskeyambitions.com. What was yours in, Sarah? Uh, my monogram logo, which is also available there, too. You're talking about this monogram logo? I That's the shirt that I'm wearing? I am. Where'd you get that hoodie? This one? It's whiskeyambitions.com. <laughs> Where'd you get... Hold on, Joseph. Let me put you full screen. Where'd my mouse... Where'd my clicker go? There you are. Where's the clicker? I Where'd you get that shirt? Breathe. <laughs> I, got that. I got it from whiskeyambitions.com. Did I say Nice. Hey, Scott, where'd you get that awesome bourbon, America's only native, uh, true, I forget what it's called. Native spirit. Native spirit and that awesome crystal cut. Glen Karen. Crystal cut Glen Karen. Oh, my God. Whiskeyambitions.com. Oh, wow. And who's your favorite radio station? 98.7, The Proof. Oh, uh, Oh, um, what? Are, yeah, where'd you get that shirt? Oh, look at that. That's the new one. The new one. Yeah. Yeah. Whiskeyambitions.com. John, um, what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> you are picking up so hard. Time. Bourbon A. Yes. That's a, good, that's a good excuse, John. <laughs> Didn't get his barrel picked, and he, he gets he gets, you a little, got he gets a little sass. A little? It's more than a little. Yeah. <laughs> You know, right, the only John, thing about our shirts. John looks like he's getting ready to go to a, a, a cookout at his neighbor's. Aww. <laughs> John, I, I bet you grill. I bet you grill fantastically. Do not pile on, Joseph. Also, extremely called out. Are you going to take that? Oh, come on, man. I cook steak this evening. You got a rep. You got oh, a rep. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I cook steak this evening. That makes sense. Good yeah, for you. Good. Um, yeah. I will say, I think, Chad, the only thing that's bad about our shirts is that they're so soft that I wear them 
around the house every single day. And then I'm like, I should probably just stop wearing t-shirts and sweatpants <laughs> all the time. Um, but it's so comfortable. Why I would know, I want to take I, it off? I know. I'm literally, I'm wearing one under here right now. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, Bourbon Warthel. Oh, Bourbon Warthel. Available at whiskeyambitions.com. Uh, we have properly... Blessing and a curse. We have properly um, sponsored this episode from our own site. Yes, you made sure that happened. Yeah. <laughs> And now John's been knocked down a few pegs, poor thing. <laughs> oh, John, as as the Brits would say, we took the piss out of you. Well, JG was, says he's welcome to his cookout anytime. I just wanted to call him off because he wasn't repping IBM. That, I mean, that's <laughs> not... Well, we didn't pay him his reason. usual fee, so... Yeah. That's, well, wait, you got a Glen Karen, right? He's right, got a Glen Karen. Yeah. You got one right there, probably. No, he's got it with it. You, Leave him alone. Oh, Quit putting him on screen and shaming him. He doesn't have it with him. <laughs> it's at his neighbor's go. house where he's I'm going done with to work out. I'm just jossing you, John. Okay, I'll we have a super with, chat. Well, you know, I'm sharing it with others to market you guys. I'm Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Glenn and Kathy from Golf Whiskey say, uh, Barrel Delicious, an homage to Warehouse Delicious. Ooh, Barrel Delicious. Oh, a callback. I like a good callback. Mm, that's cool. Oh. There we go. I've decided I'm yeah, not we qualified got... to come up with sticker ideas because mine are all... No. <laughs> <laughs> Fair I went enough. straight to like you know delicious. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're cut off. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, it's no, I, oh, I see because it's Woodenville. Woodenville. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, we may have to uh, retaste this. We've got a few ounces left. So about Puddinville. Weird. Um, <laughs> we might have to retaste it another pudding. time since we yeah. had four, and then just judge based on tasting notes i don't know we may have to consult you guys later yeah. down the road but you know chad we have been on for an hour uh jordan says uh, where can we find this pick this pick will be available via keg and bottle yes look for it at keg and bottle um, we release our barrel picks uh first to our patreon community which all, all four of these fine gentlemen are members of our patreon community that's how you can also get on a pick with us john won't be after tonight based on the abuse that he's taking right he john is awesome. his stop account. picking on john wadsworth <laughs> stop it he, he knows he knows we love him he will be deleting his account uh, Do I'm here to I am here to Honestly, we would deserve it, John. Honestly, it would be deserved if you did. Yeah, that's true. Be deserved. But it uh if if it makes it out of Patreon, um, it is smart to follow us on our Instagram. That's where we'll announce at its bourbon night. Uh some sometimes some things make it out of Patreon, sometimes, sometimes 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 some things don't. It just depends on the barrel yields and the you know the the interest of the bottle but um yeah patrons get the first pick uh the top tier get multiple bottles if and they like and then it just goes down based on the, uh, the waterfall yeah it's a water waterfall trickle down <laughs> bourbon economics independent is what independent joe said hashtag free john like free cliffy oh <laughs> thank you joe now that's gonna be a trend free you're john. welcome john free john <laughs> hashtag free john get it trending let's get that trending uh <laughs> I love it. Well, I feel like um uh, you are at the point on the internet where I need to remove you from the internet. Probably good. Yeah. Woodenville. I hardly know her. Yeah, that's how I know. Uh, <laughs> you're done. He's cooked. Well done. I am well done. <laughs> oh my. I don't think I can take any more mm -mm. of it. So. No, the internet sure can't. Well, I think we picked a great one, you guys. I'm really excited about this. So thankful that we had the opportunity to do this and to bring you guys along with us. Yes. And uh, yeah, thank you to Woodenville. Thank you to Shim from Keg and Bottle. Well, he's not from Keg and Bottle. Shim, who works with Keg and Bottle, who mm -hmm. helped us put all this together. Thank you to Woodenville. Did we, you say that already? Yes, I already did. Cool. But we're thanking everyone. So <laughs> thank you to Scott, John, Joseph, and Ray for uh, especially being John. Especially John. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Joseph. <laughs> John was also here. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just, I just. I I, you, you, I, I, well, I never. Hey, it, <laughs> it, it, it comes around. It comes around. Yes. You just, you wait, Chad. You does wait. It, does it go around? Just tell him you'll have something yeah. for him at Whiskey Weekend Batch 4, huh? Oh. See how he likes it then. It's already ready. Okay, perfect. He's plotting. Hey, I'm going, I'll I'm help. Going next year at time. this point, 
I'm happy to help plot against you. He's plotting. I'm looking forward to my first whiskey weekend coming up. It'll be a delight. Yeah, looking forward to that. Sweet. Awesome. It'll be here before you know it. Yeah, I know. We'll yeah. do it's bourbon game night round two. 2022. We got to have a rematch, John. $100,000 pyramid. We got to smoke them again. We'll see. 2-0. <laughs> well, you know it. We'll have to get shirts made next time. We'll see about that. <laughs> what, are you sorority? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, we might as well be. Yeah, might as well. We got to get t-shirts made. <laughs> yeah, let's get t-shirts made. Well, that's someone's clearly Team Chad. Uh. Oh my God, we should so get t-shirts made. What's what's the how many sorority chicks does it take to change a light bulb? Five. One to change a light bulb, and four to make a t-shirt. <laughs> wow. I'm so removed from the sorority. I was not in one. Not so a sorority I, girl. That to me, I'm like, hmm, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get jokes. I understand jokes. Yeah, but I never cool. learned the Greek alphabet. That will uh, that'll do it. Another great pick. Uh, looking forward to this one being available to everyone. Um, again, first in the Patreon community, maybe outside. Uh, but yeah, this was great. We picked a good one, guys. Thank we you. Did. Thank you so much for helping Chad, us. Chad and Sarah, where can we find you on social media? Where can we? <laughs> right here on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube's the biggest place. <laughs> Patreon.com. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, go do it. Slash it's Bourbon Night. Um, uh, Whiskeyambitions.com. Whiskey it's yeah. Bourbon Night on Instagram. Instagram. That's pretty much the most of the places. Mm -hmm. That's the important places. Those are the, the main places. Oh, we're on TikTok now. Yeah, you say that, but when was the last time we posted a video? Well, we need to get on that. Okay, let me know when you have time. We need to get back to that. Okay. With you all your, put it on your schedule when you have time. If you all could help us post on TikTok. That'd no. Be that'd be great. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> But that'll do it um, for a great Tuesday night here with everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you, gentlemen, again, for helping us with this pick. We appreciate no, it. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks thank for the opportunity. Us. Thank you. Guys. All right. Appreciate we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Till next time. Cheers. Drink more bourbon. Bye.